Hi, today we've got a digital stream, digital TV converter box. It's for using an older TV, older analog TV with digital signals. And um, it's been working for a long time. It's, and it stopped working, so I'm just going to show you how uh, to replace a couple of blown caps on the power supply. So there's two screws on here. There's one here, and there's one here. We're going to pull those out quick. Then to get inside our box, you're just going to take a little screwdriver, give it a little press there. Then our box is going to open up. So on this power supply, we're supposed to have 5 volts and 3.3 volts. And I think if we look, if we look here, Got about 2.3 volts and about 7.8 volts. Clearly, the power supply is not working right. And I think if we look, we'll see that the problem is right in the power supply here. We've got a blown cap here and a blown cap here. This one's pretty obvious. This one's a little bit harder to see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this power supply out, pull this screw, this one, and this one, pull this connector. And we're going to unsolder these uh, 470 microfarad ca caps. We're going to pull them out, solder in some new ones, and see if that fixes our problem. Pull our connector here. And then slide this up. So here's a better look at our power supply. Here you can see the, the cap that's blown out, the top that's blown out there. And this one looks bad too. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to clean the glue out from in here. And then um, we'll unsolder it back here. So I just marked my circuit board where I want to pull the solder. And uh, just to make it easier. Here you can see our blown out cap. See the top's broken out. It's a, this one's a 470 microfarad, 10 volt. Okay, now that I have my part out, I'm gonna insert the new cap, making sure I got the polarity right. Pop it in there. Alright, that's soldered in place. And then I just need to pull the other one. Looks like that's got some problems too on the bottom. All right, got that soldered in. our ends off.
Okay, so let's take a look at what our voltages are now. 3.4, pretty close. And 5, that looks good too there. So it looks like our voltages are right in range, so all I need to do now is reassemble it and hopefully it'll last for a while longer.